In this video, we shall learn about risk taking. My name is Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning, Machakos University. First and foremost, I want us to begin by giving a definition of risk taking. What is risk taking? This is an act or a fact of doing something that involves danger or risk in order to achieve a goal. They are the challenges one may experience. When risks are not well managed, they become problems, and if well, if well managed, they become stepping stones to success. Analysis of risks. So, having in mind what we have said about risks, if we want to proceed with our projects or our programs, then we are what we have to do what we call analysis of risk. So what is risk analysis? It is the process of identifying all the risks that will affect your program or your project. Risks are the factors which will make projects or program to fail. The difficulties that are to be faced tomorrow in a program or a project for young children are the risks which are to be identified and eliminated today before they become problems, for example, untrained teachers and lack of adequate funds. Now, in this slide, I want us to look at the examples of risks and those particularly whenever you are developing a pro program for young children. This includes the following one poorly defined requirements, inadequate resources, which could be human, financial, and physical, poor estimation of costs, inexperienced manager, or unqualified staff. Now, let's look at risk management. What is risk management? It is the process of identifying, eliminating, or alleviating the risks that may affect your child development program before they become problems. When, a risk, when risks are not well managed, they become problems that will hinder the success of a child development program or project. It is important to have a brainstorming meeting with all staff members to identify all the risks and decide what should be done to eliminate or alleviate the risks. Now, the next section, we look at the steps in risk management process. What should be the steps in risk management process? One is risk identification. Review the program plan in order to identify the areas of uncertainty. After identifying the areas, discuss how they could affect the success of the program and the quality of services. Determine which risks are likely to affect the program and define the characteristics related to each risk. It is important to remember that risks identification should be done regularly throughout the life of the project or the program. To identify program risk, you should do the following things. One, contact brainstorming sessions with all staff members to make a list of all risks that may affect the early childhood program. Review the program plan to identify areas of uncertainty. And finally, review all the program risks factors and their sources. Number two, risk prioritization. This is about making a list of all the risks, starting with the risk with the greatest impact on the program. This helps the program manager and staff to focus on areas that will have the greatest impact on the child development program. Risk mitigation. After you have actually identified your risks, it is time now to mitigate. 
And risk mitigation is about deciding what can be done to alleviate the impact of the risks on the program. Different risks would require different strategies. And finally, risk planning, which is about deciding what to be done after the risks have been identified and the actions that will be taken. For example, if teachers are not trained, they may be sent for in service training. That marks the end of our uh, discussion today, where we've been looking at risk taking, particularly those of projects and programs. If you like my video, you can subscribe to receive other videos whenever they are posted. You can like or even share this video with your friend. Thank you.